Hey, feeling good, like I should When in Durku, walk around the neighborhood Feeling blessed, never stressed Got the sunshine on my Sunday bed Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you my wash routine. Um, now, I did do one of these like a few years ago, but it's so, that one's so old. And I've done different ones and just not recorded it. But this is the most updated one. Probably going to make another one of these videos sometime in the future because I actually found out like while researching curly hair, like later on you need to change the um, routine frequently or you're not gonna have the same routine forever basically so yes you might see another one of these but yeah my hair is um like this actually i just realized normally i wash it on Wednesday, wednesdays and sundays but i've been thinking that it was wednesday the entire day um so we're just gonna pretend it is and do it today because I really want to do a photo shoot tomorrow. Here's before. Here it is. Oh, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to use in the shower. To be honest, I really don't think these are making a difference. I think it's more of the styling products that I use. Um, so if you're really wanting your hair to look super good or look like how you've seen it in my photos or something this isn't really that important but I'm just using this Miel shampoo and conditioner um, and sometimes I also use a, like Tresemme you know just that random one at the dollar store sometimes I use that and it doesn't matter um, as long as you lather up all that conditioner today I'm gonna be trying a few different things um, I would like to mention I am first of all I'm gonna be braiding it like um, braiding it as soon as I finish. But so I'm gonna be braiding it. Um, for right after I apply everything, and another thing I'm gonna try is use the Dinman brush, which I try to avoid using when I'm applying the products. But I find it makes it look good. It just makes them shrink. So what I'm going to do is if I'm braiding it, it won't shrink. So those two will like counteract with each other. Also, I use this type of brush or this type of comb in the shower. I'll see you guys when I get out and I have applied all that stuff. Hey, I'm back. Feeling much better. Ooh, I'm feeling clean. Everything. Here's my hair. Um... And forgot the spray bottle. So I have my lighting thing right there. It's going to make the lighting weird, but it's okay. There you go. Kind of cute. Okay, so as you can see, it looks kind of short and stuff. This really is what irritates me about my hair, but um, yeah. But yes, I'm going to show you how I do it. So I started doing it this way not too long ago, actually. I, once I realized what my mom meant. So she meant, when I think of sections, I think of like this. And then the back too or something. But instead did it by layers so like um start off with this this the whole layer of hair and then split the layer into two sorry oh it sounded like chance was sleeping i mean snoring um try to put this up as cute as possible great now then you split that into two and then boom hairstyle so yeah i'm just gonna show you with this one piece now with this piece you have to be like extra you have to be extra on the area but i'll just show you in general so we just spray it and then i like to comb it out like that a little bit but like i said today we're gonna be using the brush it took me forever to find once you wet it then I have the three products I'm going to show you, and basically I feel like this is what you need to do if you just want to um, use your own products. So I start off with this, which my mom at first, she didn't like this brand for some reason, even though I really liked it. It didn't work in the past for me before, but this one does. The Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shea Moisture um, Leave-In Conditioner. Um, 
Then we have this styling gel. Styling gel. And by Miel, which is the same shampoo and conditioner. And then this the stuff. This is the stuff. This. Holy oil of natural hair. I would say. Because mm, I swear everyone uses it. But uh, yeah. I'd say if you want to do this with the products you already have would be start off with that leave-in conditioner you have. Um and then some type of gel. I have two here, but this one isn't as jelly as this one. This is like a styling product, and this like holds it, you know? If you're using it, you know what I'm talking about. So that's going to hold everything in. And I'm not a professional, so some of this might be true. Some of it, none of it is backed up by evidence, so yeah. So yep, spray it. And then you want to get the leave-in conditioner. Make sure you have a towel by you because your hair is going to be soaked. Your hands are going to be full of hair and stuff. So, just go through. And the thing that messed up my hair, since I've started to do it on my own, but I don't get to the root enough. So, make sure that you're getting to the root. Uh, and you can check to see how you're doing. If it doesn't look like defined um, completely, that's okay because at the next steps you'll be sure to get it but yeah it looks pretty defined to me um, but the bottom as you can see is bad but that's not that doesn't have anything to do with this routine um, so I think that's good enough but I sometimes add more depending on how bad it is and then this is how much of the miel gel I'm taking I don't know how to describe it but it's kind of I guess heavy and it kind of splits it up in a weird way and it's not a bad thing but um I also have this brush and I'll show you what it does like you see it it's straight and then it kind of like slowly goes back curly so yeah I just want to use this cause I every time I use this it makes them so much more defined but so much um it makes them shrink up a lot but since I'm braiding it, we won't have to worry about that. So, add more water if you need to. And then, continue on with the gel. Now, don't use too much because sometimes it just goes you know, weird for me when I add too much. Um, and like I said, with this area, we have to do extra. I haven't really touched it. I'll touch it um, toward the end. Just so we can, you know, I can show you how special it is. Um, yeah, make sure you get the actual back of your head. Boom. That part is done for the day. I think it would kind of be good to braid it because it's going to dry really quickly, but we'll do it at the end. Okay. So I'm going to show you this simplified again. Wet it. Comb it out with your fingers just to get anything out that you didn't get out before leave in conditioner get to the root on both sides throughout the whole piece of hair continue to use the Denman brush get out all those tangles make sure you don't leave this part out that's how you know that it went through is when it it goes straight and then curl if there's styling products coming off your hands when you do this like you're wringing your hair out then that's how you know you have enough um, products take that meow styling gel get the root below take that eco styling gel or whatever gel to hold it in for the day for the week and then go in to the root and under as well. If they're still not defined at this point and you don't like how it looks, then you need to probably adjust something because by the time you're done with all three products, you should see some type of definition. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna do a little time lapse for y'all because I showed you how to do it two times and I don't think you guys need to see it take forever. So I'll show you this time lapse now.
might be the best oh, I've done it. Um, like the top part, as far as the top goes, I did a really good job. But the back and stuff, like I need to um, do the final touch, which I'll show you guys. This part, I'm going to add some water. And then this, we're just going to go around with this gel. Because we want to seal everything in. Some parts don't get sealed. And then you just lay it down. And I always am scared to do this part because I feel like it's going to mess it up. But it doesn't always mess it up. Um, and then I want to go back under here and get these parts specifically. Just because we didn't really do them very well. Um, but with this gel, we touch up basically. So... After I just did like the top of my head and stuff, now you want to do like the frame of your face. So like this, like your edges basically. Your edges, um, you can pull them out and stuff. You can lay them, I should say. But yeah, it's just to get to, just to get to the edges of your face. And boom, you're done. Yeah, it's has some frizz, but that's okay. Um, so now we're going to braid it and see how this goes. Um, trying to decide what would be best. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking maybe three here and then one or two in the back because there, there's a lot of hair and I want to get them tiny so that we don't, um, so that they're not too big and then it has no purpose. I really don't like my hands to be like wet and sticky and this is what that is. Now when I braid it, it's going to be really uncomfortable, but it's okay. So, this part is either going to be a one or a two. And then these are either going to be a two or a three. Two or three braids is what I'm trying to say. So, yeah. It feels like it really could only be one, but I want it to be really tight. So, I'm going to split up here. I'm only going to make it a two. And then we'll do a time lapse for you. just finished and Felicia has been real quiet since this video you know she's been real quiet but um I actually have one two three four five six of them two from this back area two from this side two from this side um it looks really bad but that's not the point yeah so the top is actually really frizzy and I don't like that but it's okay I'm really excited to see how it turns out in the morning it's gonna be pretty wet I'm sure because you really can't breathe in a braid. Um, so, kind of excited to see how long it's going to last. Never forget this. If you do anything to help your hair, it's a bonnet. Anything. If you decide to do nothing, this is like the best thing you could do. Bonnet's going to protect it all from frizzing up from those other fabrics of your bed. <laughs> Okay, big boy, can you play with something else, please? I'm trying to show them. Oh my gosh, big boy. Okay, you're just playing sorry. I'm sorry, I know. I, but I... And here's what it looks like. Looks pretty okay, I guess. Top is really fuzzy. And then the bottom still needs to be dried. But, um, I would say they're all pretty much defined. These ones are already dried, the front ones. So, yeah. But the bottom ones are not yet. The back ones, I should say. And also, I noticed the back ones are kind of parted. Like, it, I could have made three in the back because they were really big braids and I didn't even realize that last night, but they were really big. So now I'm going to um, go diffuse it in the bathroom and I'll be back. 
Here it is. Top. I don't know what this part is doing. But yeah. Boom. I think it looks great. I'm very excited. Probably going to have a photo shoot today. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below some more types of videos you want me to do. Because I'm really running out during quarantine. And if you guys didn't notice the other week, I missed a day because um, I filmed and I deleted the video because it was so boring to me. Um, so, yeah. And lastly, subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys next Sunday or Monday. Bye.